In today's video, I will be showing you how to update the BIOS on your HP laptop or PC. We will be doing this in Windows 10 and the first thing you need to do is select the link that's in the description below. You now need to select if you have a laptop or a desktop. I'm currently using a laptop so I'm going to select laptop. And you now need to click on let HP detect your product. You then need to go OK. If you didn't get a pop up then select that pop up link saying did not receive a pop up. You then need to scroll down and you now need to select your device. As you can see it has detected my laptop which is good. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down and just make sure it does have the correct operating system. I am using Windows 10 64 bit so that's all fine. We then need to select BIOS and as you can see it says HP Notebook System BIOS Update Intel Processors. Make sure it does say the correct processor for your machine and we can then go ahead and click on download. It will now begin to download the latest BIOS update. Once the update has finished downloading you need to make sure you don't have BitLocker turned on and you also need to ensure you have disabled any security software on your laptop or PC but also just remember when disabling the security you are not protected so don't go browsing around on websites or putting yourself at risk. So as soon as it's downloaded we're going to make sure BitLocker and your security is disabled and then we're going to run the setup file. Okay so the BIOS has now finished downloading. I can now go ahead and open the file so you now need to open up the setup file and we now need to go next and you now need to go I accept and you then need to go next again if you do agree to the terms. You then need to go next. Just remember doing an update on the BIOS is very risky and could make your device stop working completely. So you are doing this at your own risk. So you want to ensure you have power at all times to your device. You do not want to turn it off during the install of the BIOS update and also ensure you have backed up all important files from your device. But also doing a BIOS update can be good as it can resolve problems you may be facing with the hardware on your system. But I wouldn't recommend updating the BIOS unless you really have to. So you now need to go next and we then need to keep update selected and we then need to go next again. This will then begin the install process and it will restart your system. So make sure you do have everything saved. As you can see, it has warned me that I don't have a power adapter plugged in. So I now need to go ahead and plug in my laptop. Okay, my laptop is now plugged into the mains and I can now go next. As you can see, it's now beginning the process of updating the BIOS. Once it has finished, you then need to go restart you will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to click on apply updates now and you will then notice that the system BIOS is being updated. Once the progress hits 100% your screen may go blank and you will then notice that it says flashing boot block like it currently shows on my screen now and once it's finished running all the process of the flashing it will then say the system BIOS update is complete. You can then go ahead and click on continue startup and Windows will then boot as normal. But just keep in mind that the boot might take slightly longer than normal so don't panic if you have a blank screen for a couple of minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video and it did help you. If you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.